What is up you guys, my name is RVT and welcome to Mary's Room. Now this is a free game that came out on Steam about uh, 14 days ago almost. And it's made with the Unreal Engine. So it's bound to be good looking. And it's supposed to be a short story about two friends uh, or two classmates or I don't know but it's a short game I think. So we will see what the hell is going on over here. I didn't want to come back. Why would I? After all that's happened, even in here. So, where is the journal? What the hell? Is this not my house? Oh man. There's paintings on the wall. Okay. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Okay. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Fair enough. Is this... Okay. Alright. Who will be? Is that like... Oh, okay. There was supposed to be a cat. Or a pet. There's a general. Oh, okay. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. Wait, what? But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright. Marie. Except what? she wouldn't be. She would not be alright. What the f... What is happening? Whoa. What the hell just happened? Why is there music playing? I don't want music! This is probably copyrighted! No! No! Stop it! It's a good song, but no! Oh, I can turn on the fan. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones' swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Okay. What the hell is going on? There's a password. Ah shit, of course it's a kitty. Okay, alright, that's probably your cat. That's actually pretty good. Okay, let's try the most obvious password. Penis. She must have written it down here somewhere. I'm Damn, not gonna... <laughs> the password again? Fuck. <laughs> okay, that's not the password. We'll, we'll find the password. It's supposed to be probably somewhere around. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it. And chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Okay. Whiteboard. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Alright. You like chemistry. Alright. Oh, what? Have you seen this man? What? Can I... Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah. I've seen him. I can't even... can't even tell if that... Okay, alright, alright. Fair enough. Oh. Kelsey's phone. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend. Free burgers from the kitchen he worked in. Sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me. And we'd get out, just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Okay. I'm supposed to get the password for the for the computer. I don't know where the hell it is. Did I open the notebook? La oh. La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Wait, what? Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. 
Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Hmm. This is weird though, there's a QR code. Is this like a clue? Hang on, let, let me let me get my phone. We'll fucking investigate everything. If I can, like, fuck. The mic is in the way. There we go. Oh, it's only text. Well done, you. Thank you so much for playing Mary's Room. Alright, I'll take a screenshot and show you guys. This is a fun interaction, actually. <laughs> they put a QR code in a game and they expect you to actually scan it. That's actually pretty cute. Okay, so is there like... Hmm, no, this is this is a ticket. Th that's probably not the password. Oh, Kelsey's backpack. What? Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Oh, so Marie actually works in the kitchen? Okay. Okay. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches. Concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Okay, this is somewhat disturbing. Keep updating your journal though. Pizza boxes, alright. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. It's only trash. Why why don't you take the trash out? That's that's what you should do. So apparently it's July. Oh the stars. This is actually pretty good. Reflection. I don't have my reflection. What the fuck is happening? I'm a ghost. Simon Alexander. Okay. Oh. Oh, why don't we put this on? I loved skinny dipping. Ooh. But Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Oh. Really? I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. What? You had someone else spying on you? What the hell? Okay, there's another phone here. Don't pick up 61 blah blah blah, okay. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything. Though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. What the hell? I need to find the key. A five figure number. Wrong combination. Crap. I really want to know what's in that case. Fuck. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. What the hell is wrong with the shirt? Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Sounds like your boyfriend wasn't... a good companion. Hated that thing. <laughs> okay, I actually never tried the Rubik's Cube. I don't know... I know people like it a lot, but I haven't actually played with one. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. Oh no. I didn't want anyone to know. Oh no. Oh no, why? Fucking Trevor, really? Come on, tell me that's not it. Are you serious about Trevor? Fucking god, man. Trevor is a fucking asshole. I have a dream. What a pillow. She once asked me, Don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. 
What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Okay, in bed. Food Marie rescue. Torres. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Now, nah, dude, fuck that green stuff. Fuck it. There's something under the mat, though. What is it? I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Okay. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. No, 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 you don't wanna play games, you don't wanna play games, no, let's not fucking... Okay, oh, come on, there, there's gotta be somewhere... He had money, you see? He bought me things. I was Trevor? gonna wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Fucking god, what the hell did they do? There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever, and the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. I'm starting to hate this Trevor guy. Starting to Marie hate him. We always dreamed about going to Europe. Yeah, you should come. I it's don't good. think she ever went. Oh, she did. Okay, all right. It's good in Europe. Okay, is there like something in? No, there's nothing. Nothing in Portugal. You should come to Portugal. It's right there. It's a good country, my friend. It's nothing like the Russia, but it's a good country. It <laughs> God damn it. Okay. What am I supposed to... Why is there... Oh, hotel without the M. Could that be the password? Could it be? No. She must have written it down here Oh wait! Somewhere. Oh wait, I'm not a shadow! She must have written it down here somewhere. No? Did I mistype or... I'm not a shadow person. Shadow person. Yeah, it's Could it be? Oh, it is. We're in. Okay. As a kitty. I want to see the kitty. Oh, that's a cute kitty. All right. So, it's 7th of July, 2018. Uh... Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. I'd like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you are ready to talk. You know where to find me. Okay, there's something going on. Why is Trevor oh, here? No. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. So, Trevor is talking me apparently. Or Marie. I think that's Marie. Uh, I'm not Marie. I don't fucking know what's, what's with the browser. One oh. day, I just had to know. What's up with all the cats? She said she admired them. That they were who they were without any pretense. That... They had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. You know, I'm not entirely a cat person. I prefer dogs, but... When um, Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. 
She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. That fucking asshole took the cat. It's Marie, whoa. What? What were you thinking? You know that's illegal. No. No, 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 do not do that. Library. It's written library. You see in the library? Okay, I think I, I still don't have the five digit number for that. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to go to another. No, I'm not. Oh, I can't leave. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Smoking is bad. Okay. Smoking is bad. <laughs> I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. What the hell? Did you throw a stone at her? What the hell is happening? Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. So there's gotta be something I'm missing. There's gotta be something behind the curtain, maybe. Uh, maybe not. There's a beer bottle. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night? I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Maybe you don't, but like it's empty. I want to drink something. God damn it, I'm thirsty. Oh fucking god. Okay, how about we try the date? That's 2-14-18, 2-14-18. Could it be? Wrong combination. Crap. I really want to know what's in that case. 2-14-18, that's not it. Fuck, man. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My uh -huh. mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. This sounds horrible. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. Okay. God damn it, where is the fucking... code? These are all the pieces from the... The jo oh, hang on a minute. Let's hope. Okay. Do I need to find more pieces? Do I need to find... Oh, there's an X here. Okay. I am... I'm not fearless. Happy birthday, mom. Oh, that's cute. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. Loving the chemistry. Life matters, it does matter. I am alone. Oh, come on, don't be like that, you're not alone. So apparently the shoes are a size 9, alright. The fucking swearing jar. Well, if I had one of those, I would be rather poor. Perhaps. I have a dream, okay. What else? I think it's crazy, he keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go he'll do this or that as if I've got her tied up in here I know I'll plug the phone when I go to sleep Well, it seems like Trevor is... an asshole Five? I ain't got a minute there are numbers here. Is that the combination though? I know it's him. And there's nothing I can do. They never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. 
I don't know if he took it, but that's rather odd. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. What happened? We needed this beer, water and oranges. Like so many nights before Trevor. No, I'm not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named. Shall not be named. Not today. California. Oh, did you move out? Just went to another city? Oh man. Alright, so what's with the numbers though? So that's three. Four, nine. Five, one. Okay. What is the code, Murray? Wait. The journal. It must be in the journal. Is this it? Yay! Good work, Kelsey. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No. It wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I Whoa. dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. What? Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. What? But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. 
I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. No. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed no. that 9 millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... Whoa, okay, all right, I did... What do you Fuck. think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. What the fuck, man? I got chills. I mean, I'm not even joking right now. What the hell? What? Okay. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know that you've been reading my journal. Alright, I'll be right down, hold on. Right now, I can't be near you. So, I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright, Marie. Why? Postcard? Where did you guys go? Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There was only one thing to do. Get to Marie. Oh, so you went to visit Marie. At least you found her. Again. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? So, we are in the future right now. The other things we have experienced in the past. Weather forecast. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. You're right. No, that's her parents' room. Wait, what? What the fuck? Why did this... Okay. Okay, alright, alright, let's just... Let's, let's go, let's go. Let's go meet Marie, I guess. Is that the end? Marie's room. <laughs> oh fuck, man. That's the end, apparently. Holy shit. Whoa. Alright. No, seriously. I... <laughs> I got scared. You saw. That, that, that legit gave me the... Gave me the chills. Holy shit. I mean, it's a good story. It's a really good story. But, for the love of God, don't buy guns. Just, please don't. Guns are never good. They are never a solution. Anyway, guys. Fuck, man. This was, uh, this was emotional. I really enjoyed the game. It's really, really good. It's free. It's free on Steam. You can go on and download it. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave this video here, let me know what you think about this adventure in the comment section below. If you actually enjoyed the video, give it a like, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and as always, I hope to see you again. Mm -hmm.